Hello everyone and welcome to a new video tutorial from Expand Cart, your way for a successful online store. In this tutorial I will show you how to add a new product to your store at Expand Cart. First thing is to click at products and products. Then here uh, is where you can manage your product. We'll just click at add new product. And here we go. All you need is to write a very descriptive uh, name for your product. For example, here, uh, let's do it. For example, here, let's write portable coffee maker. This is our product today. Then it's time to write your product description via this awesome uh, uh, HTML editor provided by Expand Car. I will start by writing, by, by writing a title for, our, for my product. And you can of course add images and videos to your product. Let's see how we can add a video. We'll simply click at the video icon here at the editor and then we'll just copy and paste the video URL that I would like to embed to my product description just like that. And here we go. We have a new video here added uh, to my product description. Very cool, right? So, and then I can continue with my text uh, to write a very uh, descriptive and attractive uh, product description. And here we go. I just added my product description and now it's time to add my product images. And make sure to uh, always add a very high quality images that, that show your product from everywhere possible. You will just click here and select my product images all of them at once and here we go now I have my product image images uploaded and then I the product price and you can also set your cost price for every product so you can easily uh, get your uh, net profit from the report that you can find at expand cart and from here you can select the type of tax you would like to add to your product and from here you can set a minimum order quantity for your product and here where you can manage your inventory and add the SKU and the quantity of your product and this is our shipping settings where we can add the, the weight the dimension of our products why you should add uh, why we have the dimension uh, here because many of the couriers require the dimension to uh, define the shipping cost and of course you can uh, only add the weight if your courier does, does not require the dimension and you can uh, leave it all blank and, and offer a free shipping and here we have the product options or the product variation where you can set different options or different variation for the same product for example let's assume here that we have two sizes of uh, this product this uh, portable coffee machine we uh, let's assume that we have two sizes here a medium and large one so we would like to add our uh, a, a, a variation for the size for this product will simply select the size option as it's already exists at expand cart and if you would like to add an option that is not already exists exist at expand cart you can simply create a new one just by clicking this spot and here we go we have all the uh, uh, size option that we all familiar with so here at this product, I will assume that I have only have two sizes of, of this product, a small and large. So let's select uh, the sizes. We'll simply click here at uh, this button, add or edit option values, and we'll remove the option that I don't want. And here we go. Now I have two options uh, for this product, small and large. And now I can also add a price variation for each option. Let's assume that this product, the large size is uh, more expensive by $200, for example, or let's make it to make more sense. Let's make it $10, okay? So by this option, I will, um, my clients will find, uh, when they select the large uh, size of this product, the price of the product will uh, have $10 added to it. And of course, I can do it with a minus. Uh, I, in other words, I can subtract from the price from the options and, and, and of course I can set a quantity for each option. We have a total quantity here for this product of 10 and I can make, uh, let's assume that we have 5 in, uh, for the large and 
five for this mode. And here you can start by adding attributes. If you have uh, any kind of attributes that you would like to add for this product, you can add it right from here. And from here you can add discounts, but we have here a very different and advanced discount. We can add multiple discounts for the same product. Let's see how. The first discount type is that simple, very well known one, which is uh, a list price. We can also have a, uh, a discount based on the quantity. For example, uh, if somebody, someone uh, would like to buy 10 items of this product, he can get it for $900 uh, instead of uh, $1,000, for example. And of course, if you set it to one, it means that uh, this is a normal discount. And you can also set a start and end date for your discount. And you can add multiple discounts that will uh, run automatically to your product. And finally, we have our SEO settings where we can write the meta description and meta keywords for our uh, product. And at, at right here, you can select the category that would like to add this product to it. Let's choose home and home and office and home kitchen you as you can as you can see you can select multiple category for each product and the final thing is the model which is could be the part number or the model number of your product or any specific unique name that we would like to uh, set for this product and that's it we'll just click on save and now we have our product published so we can preview the product just by clicking the preview button and here we go here is our beautiful product and you can see the option we set and everything that we added and the video here is embedded right at my online store and all this beautiful description thank you for watching and see you in another video tutorial from expand cart your way for a successful online